All right, hello, and welcome to Echoes of Color with Jeffrey Morrison. How's it going? All right, I'm going to do another whip and chat here with Craft Please Midnight Warrior by Sarah Burrier. 20 inches by 28 inches, 62 colors in total, round drill with two ABs, which stands for Aurora Borealis, and they're an iridescent coated type of drill that sparkles a little brighter than regular drills. And two rhinestones, translucent faceted tops with silver bottoms. All right, so how's it going? Hopefully you're having a wonderful day. Let's sip some coffee here. Okay, delicious. All right, I'm going to start a new section. All right, let's see what we have here. Finished a previous section yesterday. Uh, yeah, so there. Thinking that might be. I think I'll just go right to the end of. Yeah, right to the start of this part of the headdress. Yeah, that should work. All right, cool. <laughs> I think that's what I'll do. All right, you know, let's start with the number two, just to establish uh, an edge here. All right. All right, 47, here we go. All right, so hopefully your crafting is going well, your hobbies, etc. If you're just watching, cool, thanks. <laughs> nice to have you. Okay, we'll get number two going here. Just establish the edge kind of thing. And they'll be a little bit more than a couple of colors this time around. Still some background, but yeah, getting back into the headdress too. I'm seeing a lot of twos in this like top row here. <laughs> yeah, let's pull the plastic up a bit more. Alright. Here I'll just Yep. Uh, yeah, that's kind of why I do it down here. Okay. <laughs> Tray would be in the way. Yeah, so from like, this is probably like the last huge bit of color, but upper row, yeah, they'll be the end of the headdress. And then these branches or antlers or whatever is going on with this uh, upper part of the headdress. But other than that, it's going to be moon and night sky for the top row, basically. It's going to be uh, just a couple colors, <laughs> just as a head up, heads up. But getting there. Yeah, I think my mom is going to want the studio for a bit, so that's why I came out here to do a whip and jet. Let's see if I can sneak into that while she's doing what she needs to do out here. I might be able to go read or whatever. No, let's see how it goes. Well, 
probably have to get supper prepared too. Okay, I'll just establish the top border here. Oops. So it's like lined up. <laughs> making sure you just slightly move the camera stand for the center section here I guess a couple of people were like freaking out about uh, seeing a butt in one of the new Diamond Art Club releases. It's a woman like in a body of water. Uh, she's clearly naked, but yeah, just you see her back. She has a tattoo on her back, long black hair, and she has an arrow in her back, and she's bleeding into water yeah it's <laughs> not sure what the meaning of the piece is but I'm sure the tattoo on her back means something and then there's a snake wrapped around one of her thighs it, it certainly created a stir <laughs> wasn't there like a succubus kind of canvas from Diamond Art Club and it was basically a woman showing her butt as well. It's like... <laughs> I don't know. It certainly creates a stir. <laughs> uh, first thing I seen was the blood in the water. Like the red in the water, and then her butt, of course, and then the arrow in her back, and then the snake wrapped around one of her thighs. It's like, okay. <laughs> Not sure what's going on here, but it certainly draws different interpretations from a lot of people. I didn't order it, but uh, Lotus, I think the piece is called. So I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> it's a recent release, anyway. So. Oh well. <laughs> will react differently to different types of art, so, I guess. <laughs> oh, well, that's fun. <laughs> Not everybody has to like something. So. Right. Yeah, just establishing kind of where to diamond paint for the time being. Okay. Yeah, I think there's like two more of these just on the edge. Yeah, I think right here. Okay. 
<laughs> I can do like the inside part of the piece. Okay, there we go. That's like the edge. That certain artist, I don't know the name, but for, yeah. It's the same artist that had the succubus and, yeah. Kenny, Kenny Ortega, maybe? Uh, not sure. I uh, just... <laughs> My mom's like, oh, seriously, people freaking out about that. <laughs> yeah, it's always something. <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, just like, um, that must hurt. Arrow on the back. Hit an artery, obviously, as the blood was red. So, yeah. Or a um, major vein or something. I think if you're bleeding, the blood automatically oxid oxidizes. So it turns red anyway. So, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. Ouch. Fairly shallow pool of water for her to be lying down in that way. But enough for blood to collect and show. There's like lily pads in the water as well. It's a really... <laughs> uh, Startling peas. <laughs> Got my attention. <laughs> I think that's uh, what it intended. So, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. There was like a, one of the new releases, a canoe on the shore of the lake. It was nightfall and there was a bonfire lit. I like that one. <laughs> I like that landscape. That's really nice. But you can jump from like a serene landscape to women lying in a body of water getting shot by an arrow and bleeding with a tattoo on her back. It's like, uh, okay. <laughs> Major tone shift there. <laughs> it's like, whoa. Art can take you places for sure. It certainly has deep meanings. Deep set meanings. I don't know. I'm not sure what was going on with the snake in that picture. It was wrapped around one of her thighs, and one of the woman's thighs. And you don't see the complete snake. It's weird. Yeah, there's not a whole bunch of color in that piece. Well, the red, obviously, but... I don't know, it's just one of those general detail pieces. Like, not much to it, but it just has, like, a starkness to it. Uh, I guess it's one of those contrasting pieces where you just have like a couple of colors and they just play the role to tell the story of the canvas. 
yeah, black and red, and I guess a bit of gray or something, maybe. Yeah, there's a bit of green for like the lily pads, but yeah, it's just a very simple color palette for that piece. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if I had the artist right. I say Kenny, or Kenny Ortega, but I don't know if he did. He was the one who did the samurai, like Frozen. <laughs> uh, women with a samurai sword with the blood on the edge of it. <laughs> I was interested in that one a while back. <laughs> it's like the Warrior F aesthetic, I guess. <laughs> uh, I think that canvas is still kicking around, though. <laughs> Frozen. I don't know. I have so many canvases. <laughs> forget what I have. I tried making a list. I think it's complete yet. <laughs> yeah, and I think there was a comment about Yeah. See these like Shipping receipts. Yeah, there's a discount code on the bottom of those sticker receipts. So yeah. <laughs> they added my address out if I showed that. <laughs> I, I've seen those shipping, or those discount codes on the bottom of those Diamond Art Club receipts. It's what you get in your shipping box with your canvases. Yeah. That slip. I don't know, I get, it's usually 15% off. So, I, I don't know if the percent off amount is different. Oh, that was for pride. <laughs> yeah, that long mother nature, I think, bringing nature to life. Yeah, big dragon in the background. I think it's like a scroll, like a landscape kind of, or panoramic kind of canvas. Yeah, I think there's another canvas with like a woman and her hair's different colors. Yeah, it's kind of rainbow colors, and I think it's called Pride as well. But yeah, I have the other Pride one. <laughs> I think Miss Coffee did that canvas, the panoramic one with like the dragon, the white dragon in the background, a tiger, parrot. Yeah, that was a popular canvas for a while there, if it still is. 
I'm not sure if it's still available. I don't know. I've seen canvases come and go, but. <laughs> Yeah, there's just a big color block of these twos because this is mostly sky in the background here. So, yeah, <laughs> hence this like grayish blue. Thankfully, there's more color in this section. Yeah, so it's not <laughs> all night sky. That's, a, that's nice. Yeah, I'll have to somehow <laughs> cover up my address there on that slip. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I just recording and it's like, oh, oops. Without realizing. <laughs> a picture or something. <laughs> I'm sure I can I'll do a bit of extra editing. <laughs> Whoops. But yeah, just to show the slip. It's, yeah, that post came up social media recently. One of the diamond painting groups. There are discount codes on the Diamond Art Club boxes on the outside, a QR code on the outside. On the bottom of your Diamond Art Club canvas, usually. Uh, where else? Uh, that packing slip. Yeah, at least three spots with like a canvas if you get a canvas for Diamond Air Club. You can only use like one code at a time, like one discount code at, per order, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't combine points and a discount code because once you use points, it creates an alt in numeric code when you apply the points. So, yeah, 15% off makes a difference for sure. Or just like a percentage off. <laughs> so, it is nice to have those, use those points, DAC points.
Eric in there, make it a color block of the stone. Yeah, most likely. Just a few other color blocks of this too. Let's go in between our antlers here, or branch antlers. Oh dear. Two just like randomly right there. There we go. Right, but yeah, you've been watching That Goes the Color with Jeffrey Morrison. Down below in the description, I put my Facebook profile name, my That Goes the Color Facebook business page, and my Instagram. All three, I just try to update simultaneously with uh, just a general section completion update kind of thing. Yeah, just take a picture of the section, name of the diamond painting, the artist, diamond painting company, just that kind of stuff. <laughs> and then, yeah, I just start another section to <laughs> do the same thing after a while. I also post a uh, walking challenge information for the main websites for Conqueror and Pacer, Conqueror being Lord of the Rings five-part journey across Middle and Earth, Middle Earth, what Sam and Frodo did to destroy the One Ring. And, uh, 
Yeah, I'm on part four. <laughs> I have Sora. Just working my way through. 777.7 kilometers yet left. So, yeah. <laughs> Getting there. And Silk Road is Pacer. And it's trading routes in Asia. Made into like one path that's like 3,800 kilometers. So, making my way through that. <laughs> 1,500 and something kilometers done with that out of 3,800, 3,800, so getting there, <laughs> and just walk every day, so ye. other than that, take care, all the best with your crafting endeavors and hobbies, thank you for the support. And yeah, you'll probably see like a random picture over a part of that packaging slip that I showed for to show where the discount code was. Yeah, <laughs> show my address, silliness. But anyway, yep, take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.